<clears throat> okay, so this is the tail of Trummy Pout, Trout, I mean, that didn't mind. Okay, so... So, in, in the Laughing Brook, which was fun, um, there was a Mr. Trout and a Mrs. Trout, and a lot of little trouts. <laughs> um, Mr. Trout and Mrs. Trout were almost tired all of the time because they had so much little trouts. Yeah, so much little trouts. Um, okay, yeah. <clears throat> so much little trouts. They had, and it was so hard to uh, no, find supper for them all. To kind of like, yeah, but they always kind of made, they always tried to make them safe. As in, okay, so it's like here. So they taught them how to catch little fish, well, no, little insects that fell into the water. <coughs> Here's my point. So, okay. So, and to watch out for Miss Kingfisher and little boys and men that kind of came with fishing hooks. So, all of these little trout, of course, they listen to their mother, except for one little trout, whose name was Tommy Trout. I'm a Pisces, so I'm a fish. I can be one of those little trouts. Okay. <clears throat> Why do I look so creepy right now? Okay. I think I look creepy. All right. So, Tommy Child could not, could always, just, he always minded his business. You know, but it was not his fault that he always minded his business. It just took him a while to kind of stop his minding. Well, that's the reason there's no Tommy Chout now. Um, yeah, that's the reason there's no Tommy Chout anymore. Because? Because he didn't listen to his parents. So one day, in Laughing Brook, when Mr. Red Sun was shining and, uh, what's her name, Mrs. Trout was just going to collect plump big Flies for dinner. And all the little trouts were just in their little mini pool. Yeah, you could call it mini, mini pool. Just in their pool. So, okay, so this is the day. Oops, this is the day when Tommy Trout kind of dead. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, kind of just disappeared into maybe a mouth of some big fish. So, okay, so the ma well, Mrs. Trout said to her little trouts to stay in the pool and kind of wait until she was back. Okay, so of course all of the trouts except Tommy Trout, um, except Tommy Trout, kind of like promised to their mother to not get out of the pool until she come she came back. And so when when Ma Mrs. Trout went away, Tommy went to the edge of the pool to the big rock because there was a big rock there at the edge of the pool you know went to the edge of the pool and thought hmm it's fun today and the sun is shining brightly hmm anyways what could go wrong if i just changed my if i just changed my road you know if i just changed my path Okay, so, um, okay, so, so, 
here's the story. So then, little Tommy, he kind of snuck out when no one was looking and the, the trouts were just playing. And then he could almost see around the big rock. So he went out. And then he saw the mouth of a big fish. It was Mr. Pickerel, who liked trouts for breakfast and always ate trouts for breakfast. Always. He was very fond of trouts. So, anyways, so. Mr. Pickerel said, Ah, yes, a trout. Tommy Trout was so scared, he tried to go away. But it was too late. Mr. Pickerel ate him and swallowed him whole. And then Mr. Pickerel said, Ah, trout. Fresh trout. And Tommy Trout was not heard of or seen again. The end.